Hello YouTube, this is the Blue CFL. Uh, like I said in some of my other videos, I don't always do fire alarm videos. This is a siren out of an emergency vehicle. I recently got some of these. Um, and I have a little bit of a collection right now. Um, this is a Southern Vehicle Products, model SA-400. And it was having a little bit of a problem, so figured might as well take a video of it before I fix the problem. Um, I'm going to hook it up and show you guys what the problem is. Hold on just a second. Okay, siren connected to sufficient power. Siren's currently off in the radio mode. Um, can't uh, really tell what mode it's in because the knob isn't in the correct place because it's uh, not in one piece right now. Turn the unit on. Sorry about my phalanges. It's in radio mode. This will be radio rebroadcast for those who don't know about sirens. There's no PA microphone with this. Siren button does not do anything. Turn the knob one click. Clockwise, you're in the air horn mode. Siren will produce an air horn sound. Like so. One more click. You're in the manual mode. Now this is where you're starting to see problems. Push the button. And see that there's something wrong there. Um, I determined it's something wrong with the sweep circuit. Uh, one of the capacitors had blown. So it doesn't uh, sweep up or sweep down. It's sort of an instant sort of thing going there. So when I switch it over to uh, whale there, it's going to be doing a sort of like an air horn sound, but kind of like a lower pitch just because it's oscillating really fast. Um, so here goes. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's not the whale tone. Um, I'll just sweep through the other tones. Um, these sirens, you push the siren button in the whale tone, it'll override to uh, Yelp, and that works just fine. And uh, Yelp and high-low, or two-tone in this siren, have an air horn override. Without further ado... This is a blown capacitor, so the whale sweep was not working properly. Well, I also have a solution. I made my own capacitor, sort of, three capacitors. The uh, capacitor that blown was a 165 microfarad capacitor. This is 166. It's the best I could do. Um, 133 and 33. In parallel is 166. I'm going to solder this in and see what it does. These are rated for a higher voltage than the one that I took out. and should do. This is never going to be put back in an emergency vehicle. Um, so, yep, I'll be back in just a second. Hello, Blue CFL is back. And he just fixed it. Let's give it a listen.